Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So in previous session we saw how we can add SSH key in our GitLab account. And today we are going to learn about GitLab runner. So I am going to go very basic step by step and today we will learn what is GitLab runner, how to install GitLab runner, then how to register GitLab runner and then how to start GitLab runner. If you have no prior knowledge on GitLab Runner, do not worry, I am going to start from scratch and we will go up step by step. So without any further ado, let's get started. What is GitLab Runner? So GitLab Runner is a utility or a program or you can say a project which is used in GitLab CI. So GitLab CI is, is the continuous integration service. And this is what we are going to learn in the coming sessions about GitLab CI and GitLab runner is used in GitLab CI. So in very simple word, if you talk about GitLab CI, it is an open source continuous integration service include with GitLab. So this service is by default included with your GitLab and we will learn about this later. And for now. GitLab runner is used to run jobs and send results back to GitLab. So this is what GitLab runner is used for and it will be used in GitLab CI. Now our next step will be install GitLab runner. So this is my browser and if you search for GitLab runner then you will see this. Here click on the first link. And here you can see the option for install. So click on it. Now here scroll down to binaries. And here you can see the different options for different operating system. So I will click on install in window. Now we have to first create folder for GitLab runner. So this is my C directory and here I will say new folder and folder name will be gitlab hyphen runner. Now my folder is created. Now here I will say download binary for 64 bit and it will download the gitlab runner exe. Now we have to put our copy this exe file in our folder that we created. So I will simply drag this file to our GitLab runner folder. Now I want to rename this file because it's too long. Now for installing we have to open this folder in our git in our cmd. So here I will simply say cmd. Now as you can see it will open this folder in our command prompt. Now here for installing gitlab runner we have to run install command. So I will say gitlab hyphen runner dot exe and then install. So now you can see it's done. Now if I run gitlab hyphen runner and then hyphen hyphen version it will show me the detail here. Now it means we have successfully installed our gitlab runner. So now we need to register my gitlab runner. So here if I go to the first link as you can see we also have a link to register gitlab. So click on it and here if you scroll down you can see multiple operating system and documentation for that. This is for Linux then we have for Mac and here we have Windows. So we have to run this commands. So we have to run this command gitlab hyphen runner dot exe and then register. 
and here you can see it says please enter coordinator url so simply i will copy this and say and paste it here and enter now we have to give the token and the token you will get from your project so this is my gitlab account and here i will go to my project and then go to setting so in the setting you can see the option for ci or cd now in ci cd you can find the section here which is runner so click on expand and now here in specific runner you can see the registration token so simply copy the token and paste it here and simply enter now we have to provide some description so i will just say my hyphen runner 1 or anything you can say here and now it says enter the gitlab ci tags so i will say ssh comma and ci we will learn what is the important what is the importance of tags when we do run the jobs in gitlab ci for now for now you can just enter this now it says register runner success and everything is done and now we have to enter the executor so we have executors like ssh kubernetes docker docker windows then shell and we have multiple executors for now we are going to go with a very simple executor and that is shell so i will say here shell and press enter and you can see here this is this runner is registered successfully and you can now start it so once this is done we can start the runner using and for start we have to run the start command so i will say gitlab hyphen runner dot exe and then start enter and now this should be start the runner so for check if the runner is started or not we have to check in our gitlab account so again in ci cd and in the runner section you find this here you can see the activated runner for this project so this is my runner and you can see the name that we have given my runner 1 now it means we have successfully added runner and now this can run jobs so that's it for this session in the next session we will see how to use gitlab ci cd and all so Stay tuned for that. I hope this session was very helpful for you, and hope you enjoying this series. If you have any doubt or any question, feel free to write them down in the comment section below. I will try to answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.